Good morning, everybody. Mrs. Darwin here, and I've got a helper today. You going to tell everybody your name? Edie. This is Edie. How old are you? Two. She's two, and she's dressed as somebody from our story today. Winnie the Witch. So here we go. She's got a frog. Ooh, turn into a frog. Right, we're ready. We're going to read this story to all the children at my school. Let's go then. So Winnie the Witch. Winnie the Witch lived in a black house in the forest. The house was black on the outside and black on the inside. The carpets were black. The chairs were black. Everything was black, even the beds and the sheets and the blankets, even the bath. Winnie lived in her black house with her cat called Fuzz. He was black too. And that is how the trouble began. When Wilbur sat on the chair with his eyes open, Winnie could see him. But when Wilbur closed his eyes, he, she, couldn't see him. she couldn't see him. And guess what happened? Winnie sat on, sat on him. Oh dear. When Wilbur Stop. sat on the carpet with his eyes open, Winnie could see him. Well, she could see his eyes anyway. Oh dear. When he closed his eyes and went to sleep, Winnie couldn't see him at all. So she fell over him. Oh no. One day after a nasty fall, Winnie decided something had to be done. She picked up her magic wand and waved it and abracadabra. Wilbur was no longer a black cat. He was bright green. Now, when Wilbur slept on a chair, Winnie could see him. When he slept on the floor, Winnie could see him. And when he slept on the bed, where Wilbur wasn't meant to be, Winnie could also see him. So Winnie put him outside on the grass. When Wilbur sat outside on the grass, Winnie couldn't see him, even when his eyes were wide open. Winnie came hurrying outside and tripped over him. Look what happened. She did three somersaults and fell into a rose bush. Ooh, crash! Poor Winnie. This time, Winnie was furious. She picked up her magic wand and waved it five times. You going to wave your wand? Okay, leave the hat then. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. What happened? Oh, abracadabra. Wilbur had a red head, a yellow body, pink tail, blue whiskers and four purple legs. But his eyes were still green. Now Winnie could see Wilbur when he sat on the chair, when he lay on the carpet and when he crawled onto the grass, even when he climbed the tallest tree. Wilbur climbed to the top of the tallest tree to hide. He looked ridiculous and knew it. All the birds were laughing at him. Wilbur was so miserable and sad, he stayed at the top of the tree all day and all night. The next morning, Wilbur was still up in the tree. Let's show everybody. Oh dear. Winnie was so worried because she loved Wilbur and hated seeing him so miserable. <coughs> then Winnie had an idea. Oh, she waved her magic wand and abracadabra. Dab 
Wilbur. Wilbur was a black cat once more and he came down from the tree purring. Then Winnie waved her wand again and again and again. Abracadabra! Let's see what happened. Now, instead of a black house, she had a yellow house with a red roof, a red door. The chairs were white with red and white cushions. The carpet was green with pink roses. The bed was blue with pink and white sheets and the bath was gleaming white. And now Winnie can see Wilbur no matter where he sits. Can I see the stickers? Yes, let's see. Oh! And that's the end Can of the story. Stickers? I'll show you the stickers that say bye to everybody. Bye everybody. Bye everybody, blue kisses. Keep safe everybody. See you soon, bye.